in town. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, the streets of London's Chinatown are normally full of tourists and local people coming and going from supermarkets, restaurants and bakeries. But the London Chinatown Chinese Association, the LCCA, fears about the future of the area. A tightening of immigration rules means that the area, established in Soho since the 1970s, could disappear. One issue is the heavy-handed enforcement raids. They're not alleged, there's plenty of evidence for these. The subject of this motion, which community leaders say are fishing for illegal immigrants. Home office vans are visiting monthly, often without warrants, and disrupting trade as part of the government's hostile environment strategy. The community is seen as an easy target with raids not always intelligence-led. Tensions came to head last July when immigration officers clashed with protesting crowds, resulting in an elderly woman being taken to hospital. She had laid down in front of an immigration van. She was deaf and was trying to plead with the officer not to take away a worker who was from the same village as her. She was kneeling down and begging them. Waiters, chefs and shop workers downed tools on the 24th of July in a mass walkout to protest against this recent incident as well as the great number of raids. Chinatown was on strike in protest. The LCCA's main complaint is that enforcement action often takes place without a warrant, an issue they've raised with the Home Office, and takes place at peak hours of trading and is often heavy-handed and aggressive. The raids affect business because the vans block the road and stop people coming into the area. The way it's handled gives a bad impression to customers, creating the image that Chinatown is crime-ridden. For example, a recent raid on a bakery resulted in no arrests. The immigration officers came in and said they were looking for someone. They stopped everyone, customers as well as staff, and in the end they didn't find anybody. Issues between the Home Office and Chinatown are not new. In 2013, Chinatown also went on to shut down as business owners, business owners protested against constant raids, which led them feeling tar targeted. The LCCA do not support illegal migrants but want fair treatment. Whilst the Metropolitan Police have recognised the need for dialogue and are ap apologetic over the 5th of July incident, They've met with Chinatown leaders to look at ways of resolution. The Home Office have not been proactive in doing so. Constant raids are not the only concern for restaurant owners. A big issue is the lack of staff, especially chefs, which also affects South Asian restaurants too. When a chef retires, there's no one to take his place due to the immigration rules. The LCCA want to make sure Chinatown continues to thrive, but if they're not able to sustain their business with the right kind of chefs and supporting staff in the kitchen, it's very difficult. And if Chinatown starts disappearing, the loss will not just be to the business owners, but to London as a whole, as we lose this cultural landmark. This is why I'm urging the London Assembly to write to the Home Secretary to raise the issue of the heavy handed tactics of officers and to encourage more positive engagement with Chinatown community groups concerning immigration policy and enforcement. Thank you very much.